What is up, Rum Raiders? Today we're talking Florida Kana 18. Florida Kana 18 is an amber rum aged for 18 years. It's part of their Centennial brand. And this one has uh, won double gold in 2015. So nice. I'm pretty excited to try that. Yeah. That was in Madrid, by the way. Oh, very cool. Has a, a nice cork. Yeah. They're, they're usually always better when they have a cork, but we'll find out, right? Yep. Still, won't you uh, tell us what we uh, got this one for? Yeah, for sure. So um, this one, before Washington State tax, was about $60. After tax, uh, it's like $90 out the door. So I'm really hoping that it's a good one. Um, it should be from like from like what we're talking about the accolades and the age of it and everything. It should it should be good. So we'll find out. So let's all give it the smell. Mm-hmm. And we did a review of the Florida Kana Seven before. That's right? right. Yeah. And I wasn't too impressed with that one. No, you're right. And that was that was their young one. Mm-hmm. So hopefully, um, there's some vast improvements with this amount of age because there should be. So cheers, everybody, cheers, and cheers. bottoms up. Interesting. Tastes like alcohol. Mm-hmm. First yeah. <laughs> yeah. Has a beautiful, intense color. Um, I think they call it a copper. It looks more like an amber to me mm. than a copper. Has a lot of heat. Yeah, it does. Yes. Yes. The, the following note after the initial note is all heat to me. I like the smell of this. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. Sorry. <laughs> I actually like the smell of this just without drinking it. It smells pretty good. It smells a lot like stronger, a little more complex. So I will say this is the complete opposite of one of the last rooms we tried. Um, this is definitely more on the, like you say, the alcohol yeah, the and harsh, the strong, the harsh side. The spicier side. The spice, exactly. That's what I feel in my tongue. I, I feel the presence of the alcohol with, with some burn and... Don't get me wrong, I like a, a, a burn. I feel like you need to have that with a rum. Like, I don't like it when there's nothing there at all because then I don't feel like I'm drinking rum. Mm-hmm. And I do like the spice, too. It, you, it gives you, it kind of dances on your tongue, the little bit of spice. Um, and it's not that sweet, which I don't mind at all. So um, I'm actually happy so far with with it. Um, I, don't, I don't have any complaints. It's just, it's on the different end of the spectrum than the, the few that we've uh, tried before. So it's just get, getting acquainted with this end of the spectrum again, but I don't mind it. So far, this actually reminds me more of a a bourbon with a rum with a hint of rum at the end. Mm-hmm. Mm. It, it drinks like a bourbon. Yeah, there's a slight molasses taste in there. I would I would consider this like a normal rum. Actually, it, it there's no sweetness at all. Not very much. Not at all. Like I mean, maybe it, there is a hint. I went on my tongue right now. I do taste it coats, and there is a little bit of something there. But yeah, like like what we're talking about, this is a the different end of the spectrum because. Rum is definitely a spectrum drink. It's not just, you know, suit and file, one thing, this is rum. Like, they're super sweet, overly, over, not even rum, right, sweet. And then there's this end where I feel like the, what do you call it, the more, uh, for lack of a better word, the dry alcohol presence, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah, well, let me finish. Oh, well, I guess let me catch up, <laughs> right? Okay, so now we're going to try it on the rocks. Um, give us a couple minutes and we're going to catch right back up with the Rum Raiders and we'll let you know what we thought on the rocks and our mixed drinks and then our final review. Yeah. So check it out. Welcome back, Rum Raiders. Um, we just got done finishing our on the rocks and our mixed drinks. Um, so. Without further ado, Sage is going to start us off and tell us what he thought of his On the Rocks and Mixed, and then we'll give our scores. Yeah. Um, I really enjoy this. Um, it's a lot better than the Florida Kanye 7. Mm-hmm. Um, it's had a lot more complex flavor. Um, it still has its harshness, its bite, mm-hmm. but with the extra flavor, it seems to balance out. Like, the harshness is not as obnoxious as before. Right. Um, so I had On the Rocks, and it you can actually taste more of the flavor, mm-hmm. which is very good. And it's slightly sweeter too, actually made it sweeter. Um, 
And then I had it uh, in different mixed drinks. I had it with a uh, Coke and I had one that's made like an old fashioned. Mm -hmm. And I really enjoyed it. Um, also, it's mixed. Um, I think the Florida Kanye 7 did better with the Coke. Um, and here, I think the little extra like oaky taste or H tasting to compete with the Coke a little bit, but it wasn't bad. Okay. Um, I would give it a rating of 3.5. Okay, that's a good rating. Okay, so for me, um, I thought On the Rocks, it was actually very interesting. Um, we were talking about it before, it was kind of like a, it's like a chameleon rum to me. It, it changes so much uh, each way that you try it. I felt like um, neat, you know, it, it, it's more of a, a dry, but you know, very good flavor. It's just not on the sweet end. On the Rocks, it actually, um, the rocks and the little bit of water added brought out sweetness, which was really fun because then it's like you're drinking something different altogether. So I really appreciated the fact that it could change like that and still be good and be different at the same time. And then the rocks I did the, um, or on, for my mixed drink, I actually did the, you know, my usual, the, the club soda with the, the lime and the, uh, the mint. And it was really good. You know, they usually are. I can't complain with this mix. It's usually good. But for me, I'm going to say it's it's a solid three. I think it's very good. You can definitely bring it wherever and you can be proud of it. It's good. You know, and it, 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 it's a good taste. People can tell it's a quality product. So a three for me. That's good. Bucci? Um, <clears throat> I started with, uh, so I let my neat rest a little bit. It kind of aerate. And it did taste better. It brought the harshness down. On the rocks, it was actually... Less harsh and brought the sweetness out, like Sage said. It was pretty good on the rocks. It actually tastes like a separate drink on the rocks. Mm -hmm. Something nice about this drink is that the harshness seems intentional and it is well balanced with the actual flavor. Mm -hmm. Mixed, I feel bad mixing this mm -hmm. just because it's actually a pretty good rum. And I mixed with a, a Coke, it, it was okay. Uh, as an old fashioned, I actually liked it, and I'm drinking a a rum and ginger right now, and it's, it's good with the rum and ginger. But I I don't like mixing this. I I give it a solid three. I think on the rocks and neat really held it up. Okay. All right. So for all you rum writers out there, make sure if you have any um, suggestions or ideas or comments, please um, write them in, write them below. We want to hear from you, and like we say all the time, we want this to be interactive. If you, if you want us to try a certain rum or anything like that, we'll definitely do our best to, to get it and get it in there for you, you know. And if you have any, like I said, suggestions or just anything from us, let us know. But uh, everybody raise it up. Cheers from all of us to all of you. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.